What's up, everyone? Welcome to a new Hero Spotlight featuring our latest hero, Nolan, the Cosmic Wayfinder. Nolan is an agile assassin that deals explosive damage by cutting the fabric of space. Cosmic Wayfinder, Nolan. Passive, Dimensional Rift. As a scholar that mastered the multiverse, Nolan has gained the ability to cut through dimensional planes. When Nolan uses a skill, his cosmic gauge cuts through space to create an unstable rift that slows enemies. When two or more rifts come into contact, they will activate, pulling enemies to the center before exploding to deal physical damage. Hitting enemy heroes or creeps with these explosions will restore Nolan's energy. Nolan's passive has an additional effect called Cosmic Leap that provides more damage and mobility. When Nolan has not dealt or taken any damage from non-minion or creep sources for a period of time, his next basic attack will dash to the target and deal additional physical damage while leaving a rift behind. First skill, Expansion. As one of the greatest minds of Eruditio, every one of Nolan's actions is precisely calculated. Nolan's first skill cuts a target area, dealing physical damage and leaving a rift on the first enemy hit or at the end of the skill indicator. Second skill, Gauge. Nolan dashes in the target direction, dealing physical damage to enemies in his path and leaving a rift behind him. Ultimate, Fracture. Nolan has wandered the multiverse for many years, longing for a home. His kit is focused on mobility and burst damage to send his enemies back to the comforts of their spawn. When Nolan uses his ultimate, he removes all debuffs on himself and slashes the target location three times, dealing physical damage with each slash while leaving three rifts behind. The rifts will activate and explode immediately as Nolan dashes backwards to safety. In the laning phase, use Nolan's second skill and enhanced basic attack to catch the enemy, then use his first skill to activate the rift, follow up with his second skill into his first skill to activate another rift explosion. In teamfights, approach the enemy using Nolan's second skill and enhanced basic attack, then activate the rift with his first skill. Use Nolan's second skill to dash through the enemy and unleash his ultimate to activate all the rifts while dashing back to safety. Nolan's skills have very short cooldowns, giving him great sustained damage compared to other assassins and very good AoE. While Nolan has survived great ordeals in his travels, he is a relatively squishy hero and must rely on mobility and proper timing to get in and out alive. Upgrade Nolan's first skill at level 1 and continue to prioritize upgrading it as his main source of damage. Comboing Nolan's skills can quickly drain his energy, so grab the purple buff for the energy cost reduction to greatly improve his sustain. When rifts activate, there is a brief time frame where they can activate another rift made immediately after for an additional hit. Catching an enemy in the center of Nolan's ultimate will deal three instantaneous hits, immediately followed by three rift activations for a hefty burst of damage. We recommend the Assassin Emblem with Killing Spree, Rupture, and Festival of Blood Talents for Nolan. Rupture increases his overall damage, while Killing Spree and Festival of Blood allows Nolan to recover HP during battle. The Assassin Emblem itself provides physical attack and penetration for Nolan to further boost his damage. Blade of the Hep Disease is Nolan's core piece of equipment. Its unique effect makes Nolan's enhanced basic attack hit even harder, and both have the same trigger conditions. Build Hunter Strike for Nolan in the mid-game for more damage and mobility, and Immortality in the late game for survivability in teamfights. We recommend the Retribution Battle spell for Nolan as a jungler because he excels at clearing creeps and needs the purple buff to make the most of his kit. Nolan encounters squishy heroes that lack mobility skills, like Hanabi and Eudora, because they have a hard time avoiding his rifts while Nolan's own mobility makes them easy targets. Nolan is countered by tanky heroes with high sustained damage, such as Thamuz and Fredrin, who can survive Nolan's burst and kill him afterwards. 
Nolan works well with tanks that can initiate and CC the enemy, so Nolan can focus on dealing as much damage as possible, such as Tigreal and Gatogacha. In the early game, Nolan should focus on jungling to unlock his ultimate at level 4 and significantly increase his burst damage, then start roaming to gank enemies in lane. In mid to late game teamfights, Nolan should go after isolated targets or let a frontline hero initiate first before jumping in himself. Nolan has good sustained damage and can pull off multiple skill combos in a teamfight.